Yeah, we can't kill the Cardinal or any of them. There's too many uh, witnesses. Okay, so I think I, I know what we gonna I, Yeah, I think I know what we gonna do. When we go in, because I know you saw those stairs that led us to that little part where it says somebody hacking. I wish I could shoot that dude from where I'm standing there, but I can't. Or can I? Nope. Okay. Why start walking out? Alright, uh, do some recon. Because if we go... It's on the second floor? Yeah, it's on the second floor. I know, like, it's upstairs. Do you know where the stairs at? I wonder if we could go up here. Huh. How do you get there? There's only one set of stairs. That's what it looked like anyway. Yeah, the stairs are on the... Oh! You know what? Let's go around. Let's go around. Cat, how about this way? Look at my drone. And then you can check out your drone. If you go this way, around the corner here, there's a scaffolding right here. Hold on, let me see if there's an entrance. Oh, let to go inside. It goes all the way up. Because I was going to say go around. There's only one person covering the side that we need to go in. This yeah. side right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. Is that him? Okay, it was him. Okay. Wonder if that's like now. Is. Okay, I was gonna say, let me go in. All right, go ahead. Looks like there's a guy right at the desk. No, it is. Him now? Well, oh, he's not in here though, right? Oh, he is here. Oh, we can kill him now. So I guess we can kill everybody. And call some guns for hire. Son of a bitch! Don't kill me! 
in the name of God. Hold on. Valencio, watch it. Good. You all want peace? Our priest is taking a vow of silence. Taking a vow of silence. You should actually read that when you're in prison. La conozco. If a sinner chooses to worship at my church, if he chooses to pray with me, it is my duty to God to help the flock find its way. It does not make me a criminal. No. Money laundering makes you a criminal. Your church is built on a foundation of trafficking in white powder and kids. Your church is built on a foundation of trafficking in white powder and kids. I've heard horrible about those children. If that's true, then confess. If that's true, right here with me, then confess. Absolve yourself of your sins. Absolve yourself. May God of your forgive sins. me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He's so crazy. <laughs> Influence, the fine art of persuasion, the winning of hearts and minds, the grabbing of the short hairs and holding on. Santa Blanca, smart fucks that they are, figured it out. It's not enough to control the events. You have to control the story. El Cardinal, a true believer in Santa Muerte. If you're trying to influence people, it's an advantage to have God on your side. In this case, the skinny lady, the white sister. The saint of holy death, Santa Muerte herself. Because, let's be honest, there's some things even God won't do for you. El Cardinal, he's on the radio, TV, live appearances, concerts. If El Sueño controls the population through bribery and fear, El Cardinal holds them with something much more powerful. Their souls. How would you like to avoid eternal damnation? Well, luckily, all you have to do is support the Santa Blanca cartel, and you will. On the other end of the public-private scale is Ramon Feliz, the narco-blogger. Don't let the quiet demeanor fool you. He's the SB social media maven. He's their digital game. A tragic case, Feliz. He used to be a serious journalist, trying to expose the cartel for the psychotic sociopathic dirtbags that they are. But they turned him. Now, he cranks out SB propaganda like his life depended on it. For his blog, for Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. If you're not into El Cardinal, you're into Feliz. They get you both ways. These two are the yin and yang of the Santa Blanca influence machine. The sacred and the profane, the public and the private, the heart and the mind. All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death from the moment we are born, and we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul.
A conscience is a dangerous thing. Mostly to the person who has one. Ramon Feliz couldn't live with himself. He was moments from taking the coward's way out when... It seems that in spite of his recent allegiance to us, Feliz still had one source who was willing to bring him information. Un chivato. Information I was now aware of, since I had people monitoring his every keystroke. It's a shame, really. If Ramon had known what was on its way, he would have gone through with the suicide. The image was broken. The dream was crumbling. My church was dying out. Many of my men were leaving me. The campesinos were no longer afraid to slander my name. Those who hated me said I did all of this out of pride. The mausoleum. The websites, the Bible. They said I did it out of vanity. But if they could have seen it, if everyone could have seen my dream, they would have understood. I did it for them, for the sicarios, the farmers, the miners. I did it so they would dream of a better life for themselves, so they could envision how great they could become, how great they could make Santa Blanca, and how great Santa Blanca could make them. But, when you get a glimpse behind the curtain, then you realize that the magic is nothing more than smoke and mirrors. And the glory which you once aspired to, is nothing but a sham. Forgive me, Padre, for I have sinned. Speak the secrets of your soul, my son. Padre, I have lost the love of the people. I thought it was enough that they feared me. I was wrong. Me equivoqué. To win, I needed their love. Why don't they love you, hijo? Because you have not made them love you. You must hold charity events. Gracias, patron. Mother's Day and the Day of the Children. You must provide hospitals, schools, everything the people need. Es tu gente. Because the Bible tells us, By his works shall you know him. Ramon Feliz, blogger, academic, internet journalist. All he ever wanted was to tell the truth. But whose truth? His? Feliz thought that there is only one truth. But we know that truth, like history, is written by the winner. His blog slandered me day after day after day. Por supuesto, something had to be done. So, I hired hackers to track him down. And offered him a job. I explained that telling my truth was much more preferable. My truth kept him alive. All Ramon Feliz ever wanted was to tell the truth. Now he had more truth than he could bear. 